Desert Hot Springs. One of my little favorite spots. Another one of my little favorite spots out here in the desert. Palm Springs, Coachella. Been riding all day, the sun's about to set. And for some reason, the wind has stopped up here. But I tell you what, we've been in a windstorm all day long. Heavy winds. Put this into perspective a little bit out here. That's Joshua Tree. Up around the corner right there, that's that lookout from, from the park. Pretty amazing. So this little washer is blocking some of this wind, but I tell you what. Windy today, yeah, buddy. It's just a little town known for its spa resorts, hot mineral water springs. And some people believe that it's therapeutic in qualities, and so visitors come to relax and try and get well. Mud baths, spa baths, uh, mineral baths, you name it. There's a lot of resorts out here, as well as it being a bedroom community for all kinds of different socioeconomic levels of people. I think people think of this valley out here with Palm Springs and whatnot as a whole bunch of rich retired people, and there's certainly that here but there's actually a whole lot of other socioeconomic classes represented out here. It only takes me about four hours from Vegas to get down here, give or take, depending on gas and heating. So it's not real far, but it's also right above the Salton Sea, Slab City, and Calexico, which is the Mexicali border of Mexico. Right next door in Palm Springs, it's a little more Hollywood. There's all kinds of little stars that have part-time homes out here. Suzanne Summers, Barry Manilow, Guy Fieri, Donatelle Versace. But yeah, you know, so it's a little different, but it's literally separated by a couple miles. In fact, North Palm Springs is pretty much connected to Desert Hot Springs. Hard to tell the difference, although socioeconomically it changes a little bit. This here is Cabot's Pueblo Museum. This is on Miracle Hill, which he named I guess when he got up here, you know, they dug out some aquifers and they hit the, some of these hot water springs, hot, hot natural mineral springs with temperatures up to 110 degrees. And so then he named it Miracle Hill. Kind of cool. Um, now it's a museum and it's a house kind of built, you know, with this Pueblo style uh, collection of Native American artifacts, and things that kind of represent the Native American culture and homesteaders for this region. And he was one of the original founders of this area here. It's kind of cool. 